Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So, I recently experimented with this oval choke shotgun barrel uh, for the Jefferson, uh, thinking that that was a first-of-a-kind invention. Well, come to find out that actually the concept of an oval choke has been around for quite some time. There have been quite a few people and entities that have experimented with it already. But today, I want to extend the experiment and try something that, as far as I can tell, nobody else has tried to date. And that is building a cruciform shotgun choke. Uh, the concept is very similar to the oval choke. Uh, you know, with the oval, we're basically condensing the shot pattern in one dimension to give us a higher pattern density in the area that matters. Uh, with the cruciform choke, we want to condense the shot pattern into a cross shape. Uh, so any, as long as one of those crossing bands of you know, high density pattern area is on our target, we should get enough pellets on the target to have a significant effect. Uh, you know, this has obvious applications for hunting, as with the oval choke, uh, and possibly for uh, tactical purposes as well. Now, actually building a cruciform shotgun choke uh, could be challenging, but I've got an idea for how I think I can do it, so let's give it a try. As usual, I started by turning a threaded adapter that would fit the receiver threads of the Jefferson. I welded a section of appropriately sized pipe to the adapter. Then I reamed out the chamber. Next came the hard part tapering the barrel from a circular cross-section to a cruciform one. To do this, I started by drilling a pair of transverse holes through the barrel near its midpoint, and then removing strips of barrel between the holes using a plasma cutter. Once these strips of material had been removed, I replaced them with steel rods, which I welded in place at a slight angle so they would taper inward toward the muzzle. This was the result. Of course, upon completing the barrel, I proof-tested it remotely. Well, as crude as this barrel may look on the outside, it passed the proof test with flying colors, so now the question remains, will it actually produce a cruciform pattern? Let's take a few shots and see if we can find that out. Well, in principle, this thing definitely works. Now, in practice, it seems like the shot sort of drifts out of formation and the pattern really loses its cruciform distribution within literally just a few inches of leaving the muzzle. So, this probably doesn't have any practical applications in the real world. But, hey, it was an interesting experiment nonetheless, so until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.